Hey, what's up guys? It's Da Vinci. I'm back after a month of not uploading on YouTube. Today I'm back here. I'm gonna be trying to go for like a Brent Fire, Steve Lacey type of vibe. As you know, they both just dropped really good albums. So I wanna try to make something along those lines. Today we're gonna be using Ableton. Some guitar in this beat. Uh, we're gonna be playing some keys and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna start cooking up. All right guys, so I came with some guitar chords. Um, I'm about to lay them down really quick. Uh, we're just gonna do a little retake right here. definitely have some energy to them but they're also kind of like smooth you know what i mean i think right here i'll just do that. and also really quick while i have my guitar um camera set up <laughs> um i'm about to try to do a little lead melody over it So I don't even know what I think about this guitar take to be honest, but I'm about to just try to fuck with it. Uh, All right, cool. I was honestly just like trying to get a good I'm gonna do this thing in Ableton where we can actually convert audio to MIDI. So I'll be able to get the chords um, in MIDI format for the guitar chords I played. And you can do this with anything, like any, you can really drag in any song into Ableton, uh, any melody. And all you really gotta do is right click on the uh, audio file, press convert harmony into new MIDI track, and it will make a MIDI track. It will basically convert the melody or, or chords or whatever into MIDI. So right here, as you see, I got the same exact chords from the chords of uh, I play on the guitar. Well, I mean, it's it's not always 100% accurate, but you kind of got to clean it up a little bit. But it's like super cool because it like saves you a lot of time. As you see now, now we got um the, uh, guitar chords and we also got the sledging piano. So now we can actually go in there and uh, you know we can actually like layer it with uh, another sound. We're gonna play some keys to this. So before I play anything, I'm gonna put a cassette VST on it. So now we got like a really like cool, wobbly, like vintage type sounding like electric piano. That was a pretty sick take. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna just go in here and quantize these. So now we got some nice little background layer to the chorus. Now honestly, I'm gonna try to turn it back on this wobble. Let's see if we like this. Not 
like the wobble, but I think like, when I was like playing it, it's a little too crazy. And this right here isn't too bad. I'm not mad at this. favorite bass to use is this uh scarby rickenbacker bass this is like the best natural sounding bass you can get out there except you know for a natural bass but this is like the best you know um bass guitar vst i've ever found there might be better ones but this one just like i don't know if you guys can see i, know you, I don't know if you guys can see it all the way down here but it just sounds so nice man <laughs> Okay. Really quick, actually, I'm about to just so you guys can see me playing the keys up here. I'm just gonna um, transpose this down. Uh, what is it? Up a little bit. Okay, we're turning the metronome. That's fire. I really like that bass line. All right, cool. Let's hear it. on this guitar really quick so before we bring this in the fl studio i kind of just gotta like mix it now to kind of like get everything to fit perfectly and blend in together um but as you see we only got like let's see we only got like four sounds we only got the guitar the little guitar lead the roads and then the bass guitar uh there's this one plugin that i love using to fill up space in a mix it's called a Valhalla shimmer and this plugin is so magical. It's just like this crazy long tailed reverb. It just like fills everything in. I don't know, like, honestly, the reverb by itself it just sounds crazy. But it's just so nice. What's up guys so we're back here unfortunately i lost all the audio and the footage for the rest of the making of this beat uh so as you guys know we brought the loop in from ableton to fl i'm gonna just play you guys what i did real quick just so you guys can hear what we made with the, the loop Yeah, so that's the beat I ended up making with it. Um, so I'm just gonna go over what I did since I lost all the footage. So first I added this string from Solina. Uh, I think I pronounced it right, but it's on this Alteria pack. Uh, it's my favorite VST to use for strings. I'm just waiting for it to open real quick. This one string in there, air string number one, 
in Airstring number two. They're just so beautiful and so light. They're not even like strings. They're kind of like synthy, but they sound like strings. They just always sound good. But yeah, so I had that over the the loop at one point, just to kind of like fill it in a little bit more and make it a little bit more like fuller. Um, the next thing I added was I added this um, 919 Ambience, and this is from the T-Watt kit, which is a really great free drum kit. Um, just like some sirens in the back, but it sounded really cool to me. I don't know. It sounded like kind of like like some people chanting or something like that. I don't know. It sounded cool. But uh, let me turn up a ton of it. it just, yeah, it sounded cool, right? Uh, and then the next thing I added real quick was this 3-6 six, uh, six Mafia acapella. And I just put it in for just a small part of the beat. Nice little juicy uh, Mafia acapella. Uh, I had this drum fill right here. And I believe I got this from the Beat Butcher uh, number four. Or Beat Butcher Filth Volume 4 drum kit. This kit is actually insane. Definitely recommend you guys check it out. But yeah, this is a nice little drum fill. Actually, wait, no. It's the wrong kit. That is a great kit, though. But it's from this DJ Smokey kit. Where is that at? DJ Smokey, DJ Smokey. Yeah, I got it from this kit. This DJ Smokey kit. Now for the drums, uh, I'm just gonna run through them really quick. I pretty much only use the T-Watt drum kit for this, but um, we have an open hat right here. And then we have a snare. Excuse me. At the end we have this little, this little like snare roll. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I did. So I just did a little snare roll and just um, messed with the velocity a little bit to make it a little more like build build up -y, just to make it like build up a little more and drop a little more cooler then we had a kick this is a pretty simple kick pattern but this is a hard ass kick from the t-watt drum kit again uh then we had this uh zaytoven vocal chant just to kind of fill in a little bit more uh, then we had the hi-hats and these hi-hats are really simple but they sound really cool so what we just did is that we just uh we just put um the velocity down every other note and we went in here and we turned up the swing a pretty decent amount and it makes it like a pretty swingy cool vibey hi-hat uh, and then we have another snare just a layer just a layer of the snare and on top of these two snares i layered it with a clap too i don't know what i was thinking i don't usually do that but it sounded really cool so it sounded full but yeah so we have like a super layered snare right there I add this little cowbell sound right here too, just before the the drums drop. So you guys can hear. I'm gonna play all the drums, and I add this like little uh, bongo sound right here, like at the end of every two bars. But yeah, so these are the drums right here. Let's play them again. Pretty simple, but they just have a lot of space in them, and they hit. So yeah, it's all that really matters. And especially for this type of loop, like the melody, I feel like these drums are perfect for it. And then uh, arrangement wise, we just uh, had a little build up right here. We had the strings come in a little bit to uh, accompany the electric piano runs and play on top of the guitar chords. And right here, the guitar melody comes in. pretty much what I did uh, I feel bad that we lost all the footage but the way it happened is that because I was actually streaming the first part on Twitch and I was gonna edit it down into a YouTube video but I guess like I changed the buffer settings at some point and it just messed up the whole audio I'll put a clip in it right here so you can see what it was like honestly I'm thinking about it but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video 
Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.